So right inside is guest services. Other side is actual ticket center. So if you purchase your ticket online and you didn't get your ticket, you come to this window right here. This is the pricing. Look at this awesome whale. Wow, look at that. What is that, a whale? Got a hammerhead shark. Some other sharks up here. And of course we got a great white. Seahorse. Give me a different view of this whale popping out of the water. Alright, goes right down this escalator to begin. All sorts of information on the walls. Let you know what they are about and what they do. Hey everybody, Tom here for Tom's Road Trip and I am in Newport, Kentucky checking out the Newport Aquarium. You'll see I'm wearing my face mask. Face masks are required to be worn at all times while on the premises. They also require a timed entry. My time was for 1045. There is no time limit to be here. The aquarium is open until 4 o'clock today. Uh, you are given a color armband that shows that you're supposed to be here for this day. They are doing social distancing. There are a couple areas of the aquarium that are not open, mainly the touch tank areas. Everything else should be operational. So I'm looking forward to seeing this. A uh, little drizzly day outside, so it's a perfect time to be here. Not outside in a zoo environment, but inside in a dry environment. So let's take a look around and see what we see. Get that. Alright, so once you come down the escalator, there are restrooms. Water fountains that you see are off limits. They are doing social distancing, as well as one way. All right, so first up, we're going to come to Red Hook Milus, if I say that correctly, and Silver Dollar. The, these fish are all reflective. On right, the other side are more Silver Dollar. Let's see how how shiny they are. All right, so showing you the paper map. Can see how it would go to everything and with the one-way pathways won't miss anything all right this should be fun now we got this tank right here and we got some cichlids in here we got caliber cichlid a pearl scale cichlid a redhead cichlid at Amalia cichlid, I'm sure I screwed that up, yellow jacket cichlid, and a white cichlid. And it's a double sided tank because you see people on the other side. It's like a multitude of sizes and colors. Alright, watercolors of Africa. This cylindrical tank, all different color fish. Wow, -y. that's a yellow and blue and looks like some red. Look at that nice waterfall and everything. Alright, we got this three tiered tank. That's all the fish we're gonna see. It looks like all the water is being pumped into this one.
see many fish in this thing. If anything. No, because he's here on the bottom. I almost didn't even notice him. Diversity down under, it's Australia River tank. Alright, in this tank we're going to see these fish. Very, very colorful. This tank here. And this is what we're going to see in this tank. Got lots of darters. That's a little fish. It's the other side of that tank. I apologize for your reflection, but this is underground rivers. Apparently, this is the only critters you're going to see in this tank. That's these guys right here. Look at underground rivers. Diversity down under. Got this two sided tank here. This is what we're going to see in this tank. Some of these fish I don't recall seeing before. Bunch of different little fish. Scan down. Get some of the other guys here on the bottom. Got a river of stained water. It's gonna be this tank right here. Get the fishes of the Rio Negro. And you can see the discus. This is a big giant round disc looking fish. Perfect name for him. Get these itty bitty little guys here. We got old, deep, and deadly. That's this tank. Got some more cichlids in here. A lemon cichlid. Yeah, it's a catfish. Fish. Under the pole. This curved tank here. Yeah. I'm going to see some bluegill. Largemouth bass, some black crappy, got yellow perch, channel catfish, hybrid striped bass, 
Oh, small mouth then. Wow. Wow, that's an awesome terrarium right here. We got Diamondback Terrapin. Tank here has some strawberry and enemy. Got this really cool looking tank. Got some giant kelp fish. This is kelp fish really blends in. I don't see them. Species we'll see here. Here's a large scale four eyes. See their eyeballs are sticking up out of the water. It's interesting looking. The way they swim. Mangrove forest. There are three species you'll see here. Hmm. This tank is a river delta. That's what we'll see in here. The spotted archer fish are the Large-looking ones with the stripes. We got a turtle in here too. And the Asian upside-down catfish. This nice little tank here. Some nice colorful stuff. That's what we'll see in here. Colorful. I don't know if this is ornate or if this is real. This is our touch tank, which is off limits for actual touching right now, for the safety of the animals. How you doing, sir? Doing real good. How are you? So far, so good. This is a green sea anemone. I also have a. So it's called a fish eating an anemone. Yes, it's a white spotted anemone. Whole plethora of different starfish. Wow, that is so cool. Alright, this tank here is called the Reefs. What we're gonna see in here. Very colorful. to the side. Just watching everything. So a dog face puffer in case you're curious. And it back up a lot to show you the whole tank. So all the fish we're gonna see in this really long tank. The Achilles tang was just zipping by. It's a yellow tang. Lots of spots of yellow. Pretty 
got Shark Ray Bay. What are we going to find in here? Black Tip Reef Shark. Honeycomb Whip Tail Ray. Shark Ray, Sand Tiger Shark, then we tell the Sand Tiger Shark. Ooh, man, that's a big old sharks. Swim by with that size of that shark. There's gonna be different angles to this tank as you go through. Wow, he's cool looking. Yeah, sand tiger sharks are kind of scary looking. They're big teeth. Representation of a sea turtle nest. Bury their eggs in the sand. If they had to come up to the surface and try to make it out into the ocean. So a nice looking tank. So we're gonna see in here. It's a French angel fish. And a trumpeter fish in the back. It's long and skinny. Angel fish. All the sea turtles around the world, and where their habitats usually are. The turtle shell is part of its body. Better side of a sea turtle. It's the underside. You can see the ribs. The head right into another small fish tunnel. This is some California sheephead, copper rockfish, some kelp bass, white spotted greenling, and wolf eel. Seahorses unbridled fun. All about the seahorse. All right, got this tank here. This tank we're gonna see some silver moony. All over the place. You see him, dwarf seahorse. That is quite interesting. I got European cuttlefish in this tank here. They're such interesting looking creatures. 
to be this flutter. We're gonna tank with all of the seahorse. See in here, big belly seahorse, grunt sculpin, blue banded goby or gobby. Seahorse meeting going on over here. A couple of sea stars. Uh, do you not see the other fish in here? Got this two ended tank with tubes in the center to go through. Got thread fin rainbow fish. This is one of them. Mostly over on the other side. As you can see, I got my hat. I forgot to mention that earlier. I got my hat at the beginning. I always get a hat anywhere I go. Helps support the establishment that I'm at. Plus, it helps protect my head. Even though I'm inside, I still always get a souvenir. Got this rampant tank. And you see some razor fish. Mandarin Dragon Net. A many banded pipe fish. And a thorny seahorse. The Mandarin Dragon Net. And you see the pipe fish. And razor fish. Because they swim with their snouts pointed down. You want to call those snout anyway. There's a thorny seahorse. Because of the roundness of the tank, it scares the, the view. Alright, this long tank here is the Kentucky State University paddlefish habitat. North American paddlefish. Now, paddlefish is one of the species of fish you get caviar from. And caviar are fish eggs. The younger viewers, it sounds disgusting, but it's an acquired taste, to say the least. Alright, shipwreck, realm of the eels. Now, this is really cool looking. Shipwreck Discovery. Pause to read if you choose to do so. So it'll be barnacles. Just a fish we'll see here. He just spotted Maury Eel with his head sticking out. It's right inside of the hole in the bell. Yeah, that fish looked like he was swimming backwards. <laughs> Only because of the, the current. Kind of pushing him back. Got some bat fish. In case you're wondering if Batman had a fish tank, well, this is most likely the type of fish he'll have. The joke, of course. Stupid one, but, you know, couldn't resist. Alright, got this tank. Another part of it. You see some green moray eel. High hat. And Caribbean spiny lobster. Some of the Caribbean spiny lobsters. Part. We got another, another big Caribbean spiny lobster. Of course, the fish with a high hat. Now, finding the green moor eel is going to be the fun part. Because these guys are good at hiding. 
right, so I'm not seeing the green more eel. So more than likely, he's in one of these one of these pots. Yeah, or hidden, hidden in the barrel, maybe. Doesn't want to be seen right now. Shipwrecks become artificial reefs. Well, there are many actual sunken ships. There are also some that were sunken on purpose to create artificial reefs. This is a nice photo opportunity right here for people. We got clown and enemy fish, hippo tang, and royal grandma. Yeah, so we got Nemo and Dory fish, as the kids like to call them. Lots of color. Got some pearls too. And treasure. Yeah. With that, the green moray eel is making his presence known. They said they came out to say hi. Side view of that tank. Oh yeah. Talking about the lionfish. The other fish we'll see in here. Possibly. But the lionfish are awesome looking. But they're native to the Pacific Ocean. From what I understand, they're very tasty because people started eating them. Alright, we got Gator Alley. And Legend of the White Gators. This tank here. Got some tentacle snake. <laughs> this is him right here. Yeah. It's right there. Yeah, this is the pistol. Yeah. Chinese crocodile lizard. This is right here on the branch. Got another one up above him. Shield tailed Agama. Terrarium here. There he is. Just relaxing. Get a white American alligator. There it is. This is one of them they got. So usually when you see an alligator head sticking out of the water, the rest of the body is there on the bottom. Either their hind legs or their tail. It's the smaller of the two, white alligator. We've got a ring sawback turtle. Swimming all around. Being from the state of Florida, we get alligators all over the place. The white alligators cannot survive out in the wild. There's a lack of skin pigmentation. All right, got a caiman lizard. <laughs> Several of the guys in here. He's got a green plum bass. Oh, the lizard did. Hey guys. I got the Bayou Basics. Take a look at this area. Get the bayous of Louisiana and Florida. 
but we'll see here. See all the American alligators. These are very young alligators right here. The next area up is called the Frog Bog. We go down this hallway. Always love seeing the poison dart frogs. Alright, Anthony's poison arrow frog. Bumblebee poison dart frog. Splashback poison dart frog. Blue poison dart frog. And a green and black dart frog. Just trying to see all the different colored ones. Look, this one right here. It's blended in with the... Like this one here. Look at this one right here on the window. Under the window. here. That was hippity hopping all over the place. Look! Climb it up on the glass. Ooh, it just fell. Got Salmon Island Leaf Frog. Right here. Looking all over for him. Found him here on the bottom. Amazon milk frogs. Right here. Let's take it down low. Because they're right up here on the corner. Got a spotted turtle. And I see one over here in the corner. See why he got his name. Very aptly named Spotted Turtle. Facts of life of frogs. They have poisons and pigments. Got a Chiapas Giant Musk Turtle. Wow, that is so neat looking. Got a Greater Siren. Wow. This guy is quite interesting looking. A gray tree frog. Right here. Got Jim Henson Splash and Bubbles Reef Town Adventure. Got lots of colorful fish and characters on the walls. This area is temporarily closed. to help with social distancing. And that's his climbing area here. Be impossible to sanitize this area constantly. And right between the frog bug and Splashtown Bubbles, you got restroom location. You got Stingray Hideaway. Enter their world. You're right through here. Seeing him here. Southern stingray, pork fish. I'm not gonna try to pronounce that. It's a nice way to glide through the water. Not able to touch them right now. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. He wants, to, he wants to be petted, probably. Pet me! I can't pet you. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Let's see this whole area. Got some natural light coming in here. All right. There's 
what we'll see in here. Come to zoom in by. Woo! Gotta go on a rock. That's what we'll see in here. It's a good one right here. We got the little guy. Come get some attention. Everyone up on the log. So the NASA supplies is checking everybody out. Alright, going to another tunnel. Woo! Some chocolate cichlid, green pike cichlid, big tooth river stingray, got striped head stander, arapaima, I'm saying that right, lepiporanus, got an aro turtle, like a Dalmatian stingray, and paku. Oh, yeah, look at him, Bobby. That's the arapaima. Oh, yes, the big one. There's the pakus in here that look kind of like red belly frogs. Bubby, Bubby. Ooh, there's some big fish right here. Spider crab are huge. Believe it or not, this is actually a smaller one compared to the ones I've seen in other aquariums. But it's still a big, menacing looking crab. There's also going to be some cherry anthias. That's going to be these guys. Watch this tank. Usually it has a giant Pacific octopus, but the giant Pacific octopus is in the care of the aquarium. But we're still going to be able to see some of the other creatures in here. There he is, up near the top. And I apologize for the reflection. And the plumo is an enemy. It's so cool looking. So you'll see exactly what it looks like. Giant suction cups. That's what they look like. And we got moon jellies. Oh yeah. Translucent. Oh, 
Uh, I guess like almost open all the way up. And like this one. Alright, got another tunnel. So we're gonna see in here. We spot a damselfish. Blue stripe grunt. Uh, bat. Porkfish. Or Sergeant Major. Giant grouper. The Nassau grouper. Arabian angelfish. Black trigger fish. Timeline snapper. Silver Rooney. Ocean surgeon fish. Barred flag tail. We also got a black tip reef shark. Got a brown ribbon tail ray. A shark ray. This is all connected. This is the flat portion of the tank. Check this one by. This is all part of it. Wow, look at this guy. You can see over there on the other side. That's where we were near the beginning. You see just how massive this tank is. There's big sharks like this guy here. So fantastic. All right, come to Sharky's Cafe. Sharky's offerings. All right, Shark Central is next. Look at the Shark Touch Tank. You can pet the sharks. Get some other sharkies here. Just here on the wall, a case of mistaken identity. Human surfer looks just like a sea lion to the shark. All right, so I did manage to touch one of the sharks. Majority of them are in a too deep of a water, unless you want to get your shirt wet trying to reach for them. And this is the truth right here. All right, next up we got Penguin Palooza. Here we go, Penguin Palooza. Got all the different penguins. Got in here to get King Penguin, Gen 2 Penguin, Macaroni Penguin, and Chinstrap Penguin. All sorts of them. Big green tool of one penguin in the water right now. 
get them up here at the top. The ice falling. They're hanging out there. The penguins of the world. Now little penguins are from Antarctica. This is another view of that big long tank that we went through that had all the sharks. You can see the tunnels that went through by the big shark. One other view. Right, can you go up the escalator to Shark Bridge? All right, that's up the escalator I go. This is Shark Bridge. All right, this is Shark Bridge. This is the penguin house. The penguins choose to come up here if they want to. From the looks of it, see some of the inner workings of the aquarium on the other side. There's a lot of filtration pumps. Keep this place going. You can see Shark Bridge right here. I'm going to wait for these other people to go further forward and I'll go in. Dare to cross. Right here. Alright, I'm going. These people are further enough through. So all the sharkies. But as you can see, there is lots of netting, so there's zero chance of falling into the water. It's more of a psychological freak out than anything else. shop or I came and got my hat when I first got here or their standard zoo or aquarium gift shop lots of shirts and hats and lots of other smaller toys Places popular with school groups, church groups, and summer camps, if there are summer camps this year anyway. Alright everybody, that was the Newport Aquarium at Newport on the Levee in Newport, Kentucky. I had a fantastic time. Very, very nicely set up aquarium. Lots of different aquatic species, some I've never seen before. I did get my hat, as I showed in the video. 
Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Give me a thumbs up if you like what you saw. Leave me some comments down below if you got any comments, questions. I'm always eager to hear from everybody. I always return comments or questions from anybody that takes the time to leave them. So thanks for hanging out with me today and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.